Hello, I'm Karen Algizma at Seasider, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a couch in Valley Farm is gearing up for harvest, and Kim Rock follows the Shaw TV team to wild play in Nanaimo. And we find out how to get youth excited about nature. All that and more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. Harvest is here, oh yes. And it's very, very much here at Seasider. As I look out and I see the trees just dripping with apples and you can just smell the sweetness in the air and it's busy out back where everyone's pressing apples. And you, my friends, are invited to be a big, Part of it this year because Seasider is having a Apple Festival. That's right. Christian, I, I love it out here at this time of year. It is just, it's just fall fever. Tell us first of all what's happening uh, at, the, at the orchard right now. Well, it's a great time to come out and visit. Of course, it's our harvest season. Yes, it is. Yes. And we've just started to uh, harvest the apples. So we've got over 60 varieties. There's lots more to go and we're harvesting and we're starting to press the apples too. It's very cool to go behind the scenes and see how cider is actually made, uh, particularly at this farm because they do it right. It's organic, um, you have very unique ways of creating your cider and getting the different flavors and the variety of, of things that you produce here. Tell us if people come out this Sunday to enjoy the festival, what experience will they have? Well, it's, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day and it's going to be a fun-filled day. We'll be um, uh, showing them around, we'll do guided tours for the day. I'll be showing people around and they'll get a chance to learn about our orchard and cider making. And I hear there's going to be a pie baking contest. Tell me about that. That's right. So we've invited people to um, bring in their pies, um, their best efforts, um, grandma's recipe, anything they'd like to try. And uh, there'll be two categories, one for kids and one for adults. And uh, we'll have a few people here to judge the pies and then hopefully quite a lot of pie to share. Do you need any help on the judging? Probably. Yeah, because <laughs> I just want to make myself available for you because we're friends. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> I understand there might be a little apple bobbing. Is this true? Absolutely. So we'll have an apple bobbing um, bucket. And uh, also for the kids, we're going to have a scavenger hunt this year. So they'll get a chance to look around the orchard, um, find out curious facts that nobody else knows about our farm, and hopefully have a lot of fun. Oh, and an apple decorating activity. Yes. Apple decorating. Although I have to say, I will never ever not love apple bobbing. I, I feel like a little kid. Just get in there and put your head down and, uh, and you gotta get an apple with your mouth. What is it about that? It's so primitive and yet it brings me so much joy. Well, and, and even better, once you've got your apple that you've bobbed for, then you get to cover it with icing and gummy bears yeah. and eat it. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I wanna be part of that and I, I wanna judge the pies. I'm, I'm in. Uh, we, um, we love harvest here at Go Island. We love it so much that we travel all over to check out what's going on at all the great farms, including a farm in the Couchin Valley that's raising free range chickens and turkeys and also creating a delectable original pasta. Our very own Jen Moranitz went to this farm to get all ready for Thanksgiving and harvest. Thanks for that story, Jen. That's right, harvest is everywhere, including right here at Seasider in Central Saanich. And you are invited to take part in harvest in a big way because not only is Apple Festival happening here on Sunday, but people are invited to actually bring their own fruit. Tell me about that, Kristen. Yeah, it's the first time that we're doing this, but uh, this year the public's invited to bring their apples and we will have a mobile pressing company come in and we'll be pressing the fruit and turning it into juice. You can take home your juice in jugs. And uh, what's extra great about it is that the proceeds from the pressing will go back to life cycles nice. to support their work. One of the neat things that I've learned from coming here over the years is to make a good cider is really an art form and people get to come in behind the scenes like we are right now and see the process. What kind of feedback do you get from people when they actually get 
you know, in on how it's done. Because a lot of people think it's probably fairly simple. You press them, you ferment it, it's done. But there's a lot more that goes into it. Well, that's right. Um, here at Seasider, uh, when we do the tour, I'll we'll talk about the orchard and talk about the fact that you need cider apples to make for good cider. That's right. That's the first thing. First thing. Um, the next thing is really when we're doing the fermentation that we're using champagne yeast. We're using really, really good yeasts to ferment the cider. Yeah. And then we're treating it more like a wine than a beer, so it needs to age for, for a long period of time. And uh, a lot of those um, Im important differences make for great cider. And of course the fact that we're using organic fruit. One of the, uh, the things that will help you understand the process is drinking the cider, tasting it. Look at this. How many ciders do we have here, Kristen? Well, we're lining up. Um, there should be not, uh, nine altogether. Ah! And uh, what we've um, what we've got, though, in addition to the cider, is, is a couple of cider cocktails. Ooh, they're getting sexy here at Seaside. They're doing cocktails. <laughs> well, I like it. you know, just for fun to yes. show people, you know, that you can have fun with cider. So, mm -hmm. for example, we've got the flagship 75 here, which is just cider with a little bit of bitters and some lemon zest. We've got another cider cocktail here called the Dark and Stormy, which <laughs> is rum runner and ginger ale, and they're both pretty tasty. And good on a stormy night. Now look how pretty this is. The effervescent, it smells amazing. Should we try a sip? And tea. Mm. Ooh, that's a keeper. <laughs> and when you come on Sunday at the Apple Fest right here at Seaside, you'll have a chance to, uh, to see the recipes for these uh, little cocktails and try the ciders because often people don't understand the world of cider. It really is, Canada's still learning, aren't we, how uh, cider has so many different complexities, different flavors, different personalities. Um, and even if you look at them, look at all these different colors. Like, what's this one? The dark, this is, must be the rum runner. That's the rum runner. Yes. Yeah, that's a pretty popular one. And uh, I like to say there's a cider for everyone. So some of them are dry, some are a little sweeter. And what we're trying to do is bring back the, the lost art, the tradition of cider making. And that's why you have to come on Sunday, because you'll be part of uh, celebrating the lost art of cider making. But we are gonna tell you how you can enjoy sea cider all year round because even though the festival is a must do on your list this weekend, um, they have so many things going on year round. We're gonna tell you about that in just a moment. But first we, could we have to take a very quick break, but go nowhere when we come back. Kim Rock with all the concert updates and we are gonna take you on a road trip. Let me try this one. One road trip that you have to take is to see cider on the Saanich Peninsula, particularly in the fall. It's so beautiful here, and this is truly when cider comes to life. All the apples are dripping off the trees, apple festivals happening here on Sunday, and at Apple Festival, there'll be a brand new cider for the first time ever introduced that the star of the show, this cider, hops. I can't even believe that hops and cider become friends like this. Tell me about this. Well, it's really exciting for us. It's the first of its kind in Canada. And uh, the fact is we grow hops here at the farm and we thought, wouldn't that be a marriage made in heaven if we tried a little hops with our cider? So it's kind of like a super sour beer, only it's just cider, but infused with hops. I love it. So all the beer lovers who also like cider, this is yours. Now, this is right out of the barrel, hasn't been filtered. It will be a, bub a little bit bubbly, right? When, when you try it on Sunday and a little, not so, I guess, what's the word, murky? <laughs> That's the wrong word, but I'm gonna try some. My mouth doesn't know what to do. It's like, wow, that's a great beer that tastes like a great cider. That is so cool. Tell us about how people can come out and enjoy cheese and bread and uh, flights of cider. Well, we're open year round to the public, uh, Wednesdays through Sundays. And when they come out here, they have a chance to try um, all of our ciders, as well as sit down and uh, enjoy a platter of cheese and charcuterie, some local tastes from the West Coast and Vancouver Island, mm. and uh, get a chance to go on a guided tour 
tour if they like to find out more about how we make the cider and basically spend a really pleasant afternoon with friends or family. We have to take a very, very short break, but go nowhere because when we come back, we are going to introduce you to uh, all sorts of cool parks programs that are going on that get our youth outside and excited about nature and more right here at Seasider. And don't forget that this weekend at Beaver Lake Youth Event, kids will be able to get out and try canoeing and uh, go on a, a botanical walk. Very cool. Go uh, on their website to find out all the details. Another place that you have to check out this weekend is Seasider because their apple festival is happening on Sunday. Look how beautiful it is here. The apples are dripping off the trees, the ocean, the mountains. It's just so spectacular here. And Kristen, um, remind people of what's happening on Sunday just as a little 411 because, you know, we all want people to bring their fruit and enjoy the pressing. That's right. So on Apple Day this Sunday, uh, we'll have a big public open house from 11 in the morning till 4 p.m. And there's going to be live music. There's going to be lots to eat, lots to drink, lots of ciders to try. And one new thing this year is we're inviting people to bring their apples from their own homes and uh, we'll have somebody pressing apples into apple juice for them and they can take home jugs of apple juice. And just think that can be your Christmas present to everyone this year. Homemade apple cider. I love it. I want to thank you so much for inviting us here today. This is such a beautiful farm and orchard and if you've never been here what a great way to experience it for the first time this Sunday but if you can't make it don't worry they're open all year round. Come and check it out. It's a lovely way to spend an afternoon. Um, I want to thank you so much. I, uh, good luck on the, the weekend. I can't wait and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network, Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co., Menswear and Accessories, Hair Services provided by Salon J.